Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to understand how can we make use of the package named Kiwi with Python for developing a mobile application. So in order to install this package named Kiwi, what you have to do, you have to come on your devices command prompt and here you can type a simple command pip install Kiwi. So after writing this command, you just have to hit the enter button and automatically uh, all the files related to this package are going to get downloaded on your respective device. Okay, so after this, what you can do, you can make use of this line of code from kiwi.app import app for importing the this app module. Okay, now if you want to define a label kind of thing on your app, so the best way is to uh, get all the relevant files from this package named kiwi.uix.label. So import label from this package and then define a main class. Okay, kiwi application needs to subclass app and override build. So that's what we are doing over here. We are overriding this build function, right? Uh, now this is where you'll put your UI code or make calls to other functions that define your UI code. So in this case, uh, you know, you create a label widget like this. You can do it. Size hint tells Kiwi the proportions to use when creating the widget. It takes two numbers. Remember this thing. The first number uh, is the X size hint refers to the width of the control. And the second number is the height of the control. You can also use pose hint to position the widget. Okay, in this way you can position the widget. Now in this code, we are telling Kiwi to center the widget on X and Y axis. Okay, now when you will run this program, this is what you will get as an output. So window is going to appear like this and right in the center you will get to see this text which we have mentioned over here. Hello from Kiwi. Let's uh, change this to Hello Kiwi and see whether we'll be able to uh, see the required changes getting reflected on that mobile app screen or not. So as you can see the changes are visible to us over here. Now let's come on this file uh, which in which what I have done, I've defined a code with which we can access any image which is there on our desktop uh, on our mobile app. So for accessing any image, this is the module which you have to use and this is the package from where you can import this image module, right? Again, we are overriding this build function over here. Okay, and uh, for the source, you have to define the path of, the, of this image, which you want to access on uh, the mobile app because this Python file as well as this image are present in the same location. So that is the reason uh, I have just defined the name over here of that image uh, like this. Similarly, if you want to, uh, you know, define a size for that image, so you can do it with the help of this size underscore hint property. Then you want to position it somewhere on the uh, module, somewhere on the app. So again, you can make use of this pause hint property. So at present, what I have done, I have defined it in the center. Let's run this code and check out the output we are going to see. So this is what you are going to get as an output. Right. Uh, let's change this one to point 0.1. And this one also I am changing. Let's change it to point 0.3. Now when you will run this code, this is what you will get to see as an output. So the position of the image has changed. So that's how. With the help of these properties, you can control the position of any image that you have defined uh, on your mobile app.
let's now come on this app layouts code how can you give a beautiful layout to your mobile app with kiwi we use layouts there are several different types of layouts that we can use now some of the some of them are box layout float layout and grid layout right so what i have done i have made use of uh, this box layout and uh, in this class i have again uh, defined this function over here this build function this for loop is going to run seven times and it is going to generate seven dif different buttons for us okay now when you'll run this code this is what you'll get to see as an output so you will get to see seven different buttons uh, like this on this mobile app okay now if you want to change the number of buttons to five you just have to replace seven with five over here and that's what you are going to get as an output finally so now there are five buttons which are which are visible to us and they are clickable right we are able to click these buttons fine so this is uh, the class which you can make use of for defining a button kind of thing on for your app on python platform so this is the property which i have used for controlling the text part which is going to get reflected on the buttons okay and this is going to help me fetching a random background color for my buttons right so this is picking up the colors from this part there is one more thing uh, that is padding now what is this padding doing over here so let me just run this app and show you something so you know this is what you'll uh, get to see as an output now uh, are you able to see this space in between the sides uh, these edges and these buttons over here if you want to increase the space in between these sides and uh, buttons what you can do you can change this to uh, let's change it to 60 and now i am going to now i'm going to run this program again and see what is the output i'm going to get space between these edges of the mobile app screen and these buttons edges have increased now let's uh, come on this code which you can make use of for adding some events to your buttons so now suppose if you have defined a button uh, on which this is a text which is getting reflected okay so if you want to add some event to this button you can make use of this bind property this is a very familiar term if you are a programmer you must have definitely heard about this terms when this button will be pressed what will happen so this is a function which is going to get executed right from here for uh, this function is going to get called up okay and this is the thing which i have defined inside this function so this is what we will get to see here in this console window let me run this uh, code and show you the the output so as you can see the button is visible to us and the text which we defined over here uh, that is also visible to us over here now if i will hit this button so i will get to see this text which i have defined over here inside this on press button okay so that's how you can make any component you have defined uh, on your mobile app an event driven component now let's come on this calculator app which i have made on python so these are different things which i have imported so first is this box layout for uh, defining the layout of this calculator app then there is this button which we just talked about okay and then it is text input for taking the input from the user now this is a code which is there inside this build function okay so this is the whole code which i have made use of for making the calculator app it's very simple 
if you will go through it once definitely you will be able to understand it now let's run this code and check out what are we going to get in the output so this is the calculator which you will get to see in the output for getting this text input box on this mobile app I have made use of this module over here okay then uh, as you can see it's a box layout kind of structure so this is a layout which I have made use of for giving my calculator a box uh, kind of layout for these buttons I have made use of this button package now let's uh, check out whether this app is working properly or not so I'm going to add two numbers first let's add 7 and 8 7 plus 8 equal to so it is working perfectly fine the answer is uh, correct it is 15 let's now eliminate this from uh, this input box so for doing that we can hit this C button so everything is going to go disappear let's uh, multiply two numbers so I'm multiplying this by 658 so as you can see this is the output I am getting now in order to eliminate this I can hit the C button so it is working perfectly fine 45 divided by 2 so it is giving us the floating values also right so you know that's how you can make use of this Kiwi package for developing a full-fledged app on Python thank you very much for watching this lecture hope you guys enjoyed this one a lot do like and subscribe to my channel and also do share the link of this uh, video with the other students so that they can also come and enjoy free coding classes on my channel thank you very much bye bye